So I'll just tell you what God has laid in my spirit. While I was praying for prophetic words for 2015, the first thing God gave to me, contrary to reports and economic forecasts, in 2015 the global economy will not collapse. Many nations will experience slow but gradual economic growth. Only a few nations will suffer big economic setback. The U.S. economy will continue to grow slowly but significantly in 2015. The Russian economy will shrink while Britain, Germany, Canada and Australia will experience mild economic growth. China will maintain her present status. Japan, India and Indonesia will face harsh but necessary economic measures to boost their economies. Against Many odds, a significant number of African states will experience economic growth, including the major countries. Christians worldwide will face pressure from secular, secular, political, and demonic forces to compromise their faith. Let us pray for the grace to stand firm in midst of trials. Air disasters will reduce in 2015 due to caution better safety, guidelines, and prayer. However, let us pray against sea and land accidents worldwide. An evil terrorist army from the north will attempt to destroy the destiny of Nigeria in 2015 due to the greed, disunity, and poor discernment of the people, especially believers. Let us pray and shut the gates of hell against the nation. Let us pray against the spread of terror networks and attacks worldwide, especially in Asia, Europe and Africa. Let us pray against unhealthy political strife, scandals, divisions, violence and economic slowdown in the Philippines in 2015. Let us also pray against natural calamities and the death of great personalities. Israel will be pressured to take a different path. Let us pray for the nation's political leaders to make wise and godly policies. Let us pray against deadly storms, floods and other natural disasters in 2015 around the globe, especially in Europe and Asia. Countries like Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, Philippines will be affected. Likewise, some Latin American nations. Australia and USA will experience the fury of fire and water elements if we don't see divine intervention. Amen.